Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Pacrom 4.3.1 on your Sony Xperia Z. First of all, make sure you have your bootloader unlocked and you have rooted device with a working recovery. Uh, I'm already cust running a custom firmware, so I'm going to reboot directly into recovery. Wait for it while it finishes. Meanwhile, you can check the thread at XDA developers. Uh, download the latest build with G apps. That's it. The ROM is like 212 megabytes, and G apps goes for like 87 megabytes. Now, as you can see, I booted in recovery. First thing you have to do is a clean install. So uh, do a factory reset. Okay, uh, wipe down the cage. As you can see, why, why, when you do a factory reset, you don't need to wipe cage again because it is already wiped with the factory reset. Now install zip, choose from SD card. That's it. Installing update. As I said before, you should have your bootloader unlocked. And if you don't want to you to lose your DRM DRM keys, make sure uh, you back up your TA partition. Okay, it is flashed. Now let's flash G apps. Apps for Android 4.3.0. Installation complete. Go back. Reboot system now. And just wait. The first boot up should take a while. And as you can see, the boot animation. Batman ROMs. Sorry for the low recording quality. I'm recording this video from my second generation iPad with the shitty camera. Cool, cool boot animation you got there. Meanwhile, while uh, it's booting up, I'm gonna show you the new features in this ROM. As you can see, it's a mix of Paranoid Android, AOKP, and Cyanogen mod. This ROM packs all tweaks from the three Super ROMs into one. Some of the main features, Phone UI, Tablet UI, Fablet UI. And uh, there isn't any known bugs, just for the... If the LTE is not working, make sure you need to manually input your carrier your carrier settings. Okay, as you can see, it booted up successfully. Choose your language. Uh, skip. I'll set my Google account later. Okay, not now. Skip. Uh, no, don't access my location. Next. Okay. That's it. Uh, it's running Fablet UI right now, as you can see. Like a tablet. Whatever. 
go to settings it looks awesome about phone android 4.3.1 jelly bean let's see if we can overclock in this ROM if the kernel has it processor as you can see it runs at 1.5 gigahertz no he didn't add overclock but you can install a custom kernel I will put a link in the description for overclocking okay let's Let's see if the camera is working. And so it is okay. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna do a review of this ROM, I'm gonna do another video uh, let me know if you want me to do a review of this ROM and the new features uh, from AOKP and Paranoid uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to, to subscribe for my channel goodbye